we can add different players to follow. Let's see, uh, go ahead and add different players to look at. Yeah, these look fine. I'm sure we can add more in the future. These look like all the players I was, I was checking. Oh yeah, in the short list, that's how they work, okay. Um, next in the inbox, we got the medical center. Uh, this shows all the different people that are hurt. Um, same people we looked at before. Take induction. Okay, well, let's see what this is. You can analyze the fitness and condition of your players here and find out how long an injured player will be out for between before returning to training. This is important to be aware of the risk of injury for your players. You can analyze the potential likelihood of injury based on players' condition, training levels, injury, energy, uh, injury proneness, and recent injury history to help you remain informed ahead of team selection for matches. All right, so on the left, it looks like you got, um, oh, I'm, I'm on the video, they won't show me. Um, information for the sports from the sports scientists regarding injury risk should be used to inform your training workload and team selection to give you the best chance of minimizing injuries. The team, the players generally seem content with their current training workload. You may also view a list of the club's current injuries along with data from the previous injuries dealt with over the course of your time at the club. At the end of each season, the data will be summarized to, and presented to you. All right, next, squad induction. I'd like to borrow a few minutes of your time to introduce you to your squad and give you a broad overview of the players you're going to be working with. I think it will be worth while taking the time to gain an insight into the team. This is your squad, the group of players tasked with carrying out your vision for the team on the pitch. Captain is Aspilicueta, key players Conte, hot prospect is um, Padu, and top earner is Conte. 373,000 pounds per week. On vacation right now are, twin, are, are William Tamori, Abraham, Mount, and Pulisic, or Pulisic, I'm sorry. Transfer listed on Baker, looks like he's about to get transferred, and transfer is already arranged for Morale. Um, here's the induction, this is your first team squad. You will get to know them better as you spend more time in the job, but for now, we'll focus on giving you a better understanding of the role you've taken on. On the left is the positions. Team selections are naturally going to be a key part of your job. To help you plan, you can pencil in players to any position at any time. Your final team will only ever be picked before the match itself. For ease of reference, you'll often abbreviate key information about each of the players. More detail of the current position, often covering different areas simultaneously, can be found by hovering over the abbreviation for a second or two. The same principle applies with almost everywhere you look. These are your players. Anyone in this color is on loan to the club, while anyone in this color has been loaned out. Every player has an individual profile you can view by selecting it from this list. By default, you also be able to view other key information uh, at the squad at a glance. Positions, morale, form, statistics offer a quick indication of how they're doing. We retain a lot more information than that about each and every player in the club and can accept, access all of those details here. All of that information can often be overwhelming though, and there will be times when you'll want to filter some of those out, filter out some of the noise and focus squarely on something specific.
to ensure your, our squad compiles with competition rules. We also keep a close eye on the requirements for, your, for our upcoming fixture and the competition we're playing in. Make sure you pay attention to this. That covers the basics. I recommend you familiarize, or familiarize yourself with the players, particularly their individual profiles, to keep you to help you build a fuller picture of your squad. All right, so I'll go ahead and click on the squad. Okay, there's the players. People's on vacation. On the left, it looks like that's overall physical condition, and on the right, it's match sharpness. So I'm going to keep not playing players on the left if the number gets low, and play players on the right, especially if the number is low, because I want them to get better. Coaching staff induction. If you have a moment or two to spare, I'd like to show you the full extent of the coaching staff supporting your work here and how you might be might go about bringing new people in to strengthen it. Your coaching staff will aid you behind the scenes in a variety of tasks. Your staff are broken up into three teams, coaching, recruitment, and medical. The eight coaching staff. The board has no concerns about the size of the coaching team at the present time. The 17 recruitment team members. The board has no concerns about the size of the recruitment team at the present time. 10 medical staff, no concerns about the size. Responsibilities, managing friendlies, that's me. Press conferences, that's me. Tunnel interviews, that's me. Recruiting staff, that can be the coaching staff. And staff contract renewals, that can also be the coaching staff. That's fine with me. Here's a look at everyone working for the club in a non-playing capacity. We've also compiled some of the data on how our coaching staff compares to others in the league. Coaching staff is responsible for day-to-day -day work with the players. Coaches can take a number of tasks off your hands and if required and each have specialist skills used in the training ground. The head of youth development is in charge of the club's youth teams and can be given the responsibility to manage the transfer activity of the younger teams in addition to being in charge of bringing, to, bringing through the next generation. General manager oversees the recruitment team and is responsible for players coming and going at the club. The data analysts and scouts work together to identify new talent, report on Opposition, opposition teams and provide information and knowledge to you whenever uh, to you on whatever you need. So this is zero out of one general manager. I wonder if that means I need one or if I just need to take over as a general manager slash coach, which I'm sure I am fully capable of. Technical director looks after the hiring and firing of first team staff, is keenly involved in coaching development, and works with these coaches to plan and set up training schedules. Loan manager decides which players go on loan, where they go, and provides feedback on how they're doing while away from the club. Medical team look after fitness and well being of the players, doctors and physios primarily work on energy rehab, while sports scientists support their work by seeking to prevent injuries by using data to advise on best practices. Inform you if the size is too excessive, too small, or just right. You can reduce it as necessary or re uh, request to be allowed more staff. You may formally request the board allow more freedom and restrictions you can also, if you wish, place advertisements for any vacancies. Easiest way to make full use of the coaching staff here is to allow them to take responsibility for different areas of your day-to-day -day duties. All responsibilities at the club can be assigned and viewed from our central overview. From here, you'll be able to see an at-a-glance look at what you control. Should you want to change the way any of these responsibilities are handled, you can do so at any time. Board responsibilities are out of your control, but it's always useful to be able 
to see who's in charge of what at the top of the club. Similarly, managing the coaching staff at the club comes to a lot of responsibility for different areas. You get a clearer understanding of who does what and who by digging a little deeper here. Scouting responsibilities are assumed by appropriate personnel, but you have the freedom to get involved as much or as little as you want, as well as defining how scouted players should be dealt with. Responsibilities are also branched into key areas of expertise. For example, handling transfers and contracts is a board undertaking, broad undertaking. So you'll be able to decide who does what at every step along the way. There are certain media demands that require attention. If you'd rather not attend press conferences or tunnel interviews, you're able to delegate those tasks. Every team at your club trains hard. Staff are in place to handle general and individual assignments, which you can adjust as you see fit or take even take full charge yourself. Having the best information available to you ahead of each match can often be the difference between winning or not. Control and delegate those duties accordingly. You might not you might want to do everything on match day, but where necessary, you have the support of your coaching team to lighten the load in several important areas. This is our database on non-playing personnel. It's vast and comprehensive and is best used by filtering and for your exact requirements. That concludes the induction of your backroom staff. Before you go, you have a few tasks you may either handle yourself or delegate out. Delegate out. Those will affect all teams at the club. All right, so here are my options. I can handle, manage friendly matches, press conferences, tunnel interviews, and let the coaching staff recruit staff and contract renewals. Sure, sounds good. And I can click on the coaching staff. Recruitment team members. I can increase the salaries. I don't think we need any more recruitment because we're not allowed to get any new people anyway. Medical staff. If we get more medical staff, do you think that players will get better faster? Um, I don't know. Does this mean I have one extra space for a staff scientist, sports scientist? Lots of room for scouts and data analysts. Um, lots of room for more coaches. Here's the uh, responsibilities. Hiring and firing head of youth development, I delegate that out. Hiring and firing loan manager, delegate it out. Hiring and firing chief scout, delegate it out. Hiring and firing coaching staff, delegate it out. Medical staff, scouting staff, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Okay. Um, All right, hit continue. Next on red, introductory advice summary. As requested, I've completed my introductory report on the squad for your assistance. See below for a summary of my advice. Use youth facilities. Reason, good youth facilities. I think you should look towards youth system for players. High standard facilities we have here means youngsters have a good chance of developing with us 
and becoming good enough to play for the first team. I think Marcos Alonso should be taking free kicks as he's one of our better options. Yeah. I can adjust direct free kick, kick takers. Let's see who we currently have. Direct free kick takers. Um, so if I do a quick pick, that says William, Baker, and Barkley. Let's take Baker off and put Alonzo on there. There. That's on the left side. On the right side, quick pick is Alonzo. Okay, so I'm taking him off there. Giroud and Baker. Um, Giroud, I don't think on the right side would be that good. Um, who else would be good? We got uh, Mount would be good. There we go. Giorgino would be good too. Let's say Giorgino on the right. Reese James would be good too. Actually, let's swap these two. Put James on the right and Georgina on the left. Throw ins. Who we got taking corners? We got Baker. Um, I think we want William on here. William's good at free kicks, corner kicks. Mount and Kovacic, sure, why not? Alonzo, Baker, Emerson. Emerson for, I guess. Who else would be good? Uh, how about Aspilicueta? That way, yeah. Sure, why not? Okay. And then we got throw ins. Quick pick is Alonzo. He's always the throw in here. Aspilicueta, Emerson. Sure, why not? Aspilicueta, Tamori, and Rudiger. Sounds good to me. Social feed. I s set up your social feed, allow you to blah, blah, blah. We already talked about that following, and then they listed all these different players. Next time, right? Training schedule changes. Due to fixture changes, I adjusted your training period for the week starting the 24th. Okay. Fixture changes being that training one I just set up. Homegrown players update. Following players have now qualified as homegrown after spending three years either with our club or with English clubs. Hey, whole list of people. Upcoming status changes. Another list of people. Code of conduct. In preparation for our new schedule, Captain ha Captain Aspilicueta has presented us with a potential code of conduct. The team have suggested fixed fines in place of ad hoc disciplinary action, and as such will happily abide by the rules throughout the campaign. You're free to make adjustments to the suggestions below or opt out of the code of conduct altogether. You can also ask Jody Morris for his input. If you skip it, you'll have the opportunity to discipline players on a case-by-case -case basis. Wow, that's a lot of detail here. All right, so missed training. If they miss training, then they're off by half a week, then a week, then two weeks, then two weeks if it's the fourth time or more. If they go AWOL, then they're out a week, two weeks. It's a uh, multiple booking. Yeah, if they get a couple yellow cards, a couple or a red card, I guess, probably. Um, out half a week if they do it again, a week, two weeks. Sent off, if they get a second booking, is a half a week. Half a week, one week, two weeks. Straight off, straight red, half a week. All right, yeah, at least fine. I don't, I don't see any problem with that. Continue. Leighton Orient have made an offer to loan Billy Gilmore until the next transfer window. 
a contribution of his salary will be paid for the duration of the player's stay. I have accepted the transfer bid on behalf of the management due to the player being on the loan list. Aha! Uh -huh. Did not realize that. Okay. That's good. He is an important player according to his bonus and clause and Billy Gilmore. Could use the uh, extra practice. Okay. Um, offers m made for Hunter available on free transfer. Okay. I don't know who Hunter is. And they don't explain it. So I will, he's a coach. Okay. Next. I think he's a old coach in, if I'm guessing 50 something. But. Um, Chelsea injury update. There are quite a few injuries within the squad. Yeah, I know. Next. Injury risk update. Here's the risks associated with them. Heightened due to low match sharpness. So sharpness needs to be increased. While long-term exposure to an increased injury risk is not recommended, a heavier workload in the short term could be increased benefits to individual and player development. All right, so this is all the different histories. I don't see anything new because we just started. As requested, completed a fortnightly report regarding player development. See my advice. Support level good, respect from players due to positive relationships. High potential players, Christensen, Lots, Cheek, and Tamori, and their specific uh, possibilities. Okay. I think now would be a good time to introduce yourself to the players and let them know what you expect of them. Introduce yourself to the squad. Um, all right, so I get to choose assertive, passionate, cautious, or calm. I think calm would be good. I'd like to, I wanted to take the opportunity to introduce myself as your new Kel, uh, Chelsea head coach. Aspilicueta responded, on behalf of the team, I would like to welcome you and look forward to playing under your leadership. Also happy are all 20 players. Um, I'm very positive of our chances. I think we can challenge for the title. I think we can win the title. We can qualify for the Championship Cup. We can qualify for the Euro Cup. We can finish in the top half. I'm going to go challenge for the title. Why not? Calm. 11 people agree, and 9 people say that's too ambitious. Uh, Ross Barkley says, I'd be expected... I'd have expected a little more realism from you, to be perfectly honest. I can't see us winning the league. And also agreeing with him, lots of the players. Okay. In response, I can say, I'm very confident we can do what I said, and I won't settle for anything less. I think taking them into account, I may have been a bit ambitious here. We would, we should be looking to qualify for the Champions Cup instead, though. I, I think I'm very confident. I, I won't sell for anything less than your best. And I'm going to say that passionately. Now we have I, 11 people saying I can't think of anything, and 9 people still think it's too ambitious. Okay, good for them. And I'd say, in response, I could say I respect that each of you has your own opinion. Or I can say, I wasn't expecting that sort of reaction, or was that's the sort of reaction I was hoping for, or I respect those who don't agree. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go with um, cautiously saying I wasn't, no, I'll just say I respect each of you have your own opinion. And same people said the same thing, nothing to add, or still not liking it. Then last I say, I've also finalized the code of conduct you suggested. I trust you're all accepting of the rules on board. 
upcoming season, calm, everyone agrees. Code of context, fine, no difference. Happy you aren't introducing to anything too overzealous. That's a great response. Thank you. We're on the same page. I expect everyone to accept any disciplinary action that comes your way. Overall, I'm sure this would be a benefit to everyone. I'm disappointed you're not on board. I'll just say great response. And some people agree, some people, the rest of the people, whatever. I think would now be a good time to introduce yourself to the players. I already did. You have introduced yourself to the squad. Next. Friendly invitations accepted. All right, so our first game is against a friendly against Moscow. I'm going to put a cut in here, and we'll continue at the next recording.